Welcome to Game Theory. Today we are going to solve a two-person zero-sum game using Minimax Maximum Principle. So when there are only two players in a game and the gain of one is equal to the loss of another, then we call it a two-person zero-sum game. So here we have a payoff matrix of the other 4 by 4, 4 rows and 4 columns. To begin, let's find the row minimum. So this is minus 7, minus 3, 0, and minus 5. And let's find the column maximum. It is 0, 4, 2, and 6. Now let's revisit the row minimum and ask the proverbial question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, which is the largest number of them all? And the answer is our hero zero. So let's demarcate our hero zero and call that maximum. Maximum. Now let's go back to the column maximum and ask the proverbial question. Mirror, mirror on the wall, which is the least number of them all? And the answer again is zero. So let's demarcate our hero zero and call it mini max. Mini max. Now let's write the value of maximum and that is zero and what's the value of minimax that again is zero. So is there a common factor? Yes. Maximum is equal to minimax which is equal to zero. Therefore the game has a saddle point or an equilibrium point. So remember whenever maximum equals minimax, the game has a saddle point. Therefore, it's a game of pure strategy, which means it is the strategy that provides the best outcome to each of the players. So what's the best strategy for player A? It is the row corresponding to the saddle point, and that is 3. And what's the best strategy for player B? It is the column corresponding to the saddle point, which is 1. Now, coming to the value of the game. Now, what is the value of the game? It is the amount of payoff at the saddle point. So the value of the game would be our hero zero. Now, since value of the game is zero, it is a fair game. Fair game means there is no loss or gain for either of the players and the expected payoff in any and every condition is zero. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you and happy learning.